YTBC, what's the deal? So Floyd Mayweather have been has been in the news saying that he can shut down a uh, what do you say uh, the Khan and Canelo fight if he was to make his fiftieth fight against uh, the young boy Danny Garcia. Um, I mean, it's just Floyd being Floyd, man. What do you expect Floyd to say? I mean, Floyd thinks he can do anything, so it doesn't surprise me that he said this. I mean, Floyd will say this about anybody. I don't think it's because it's Amir Khan and Canelo. I think he just, Floyd will say this about anybody. I mean, if Floyd was around during fucking Ali Frazier 1 and he had the same bravado and attitude that he has now, I know it's hypothetical, but I expect Floyd to say the same thing. Floyd is Floyd, man, so I expect him to say the same thing, especially being in the position that he's in right now. Um... You know, then I heard people say, well, how in the hell does Floyd expect to come back and, you know, beat anybody's pay-per-view when his Andre Berto has did, I don't know, somewhere between, I've heard different sources, anywhere between 350000 and 500000 whatever, whatever the case, a significant drop for a Floyd Mayweather pay-per-view. See, that's one thing, you know, Floyd wants to, sometimes when it comes to certain things, he wants to only be compared to himself, you know. You can only compare him to himself because he's so, you know, his pay-per-view numbers are so big. He can only be compared to himself. And then as soon as you do that, people get mad. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to compare this pay-per-view to the other ones. And it's significantly low. The Berto one, it it was low. It was a low, it was a low number. No matter who, you, who else you compare it to, comparing to him, to his standards, it was fucking low. Now, of course, you didn't expect it to do three, four million, you know, four million like uh, the Pacquiao fight. But Pacquiao had a lot to do with that. Just like the De La Hoya Mayweather, both of them had a lot to do with it. Mayweather is not, in my opinion, just me. There's only one guy that I really saw that can literally, I mean, literally fight the milkman and sell a million pay-per-views. And it was Mike Tyson, like the Peter McNeely fight. He was like the only guy that I, you, you can say, man, that can do it by himself. Now, he did fight, you know, the Danny Williams. I'm talking about in his pay-per-view years the the good years i'm not talking about the after when he was losing and it wasn't the same mic and the tattoos on his face to me that wasn't the mic mic you know what i mean even though he did do some good numbers with linux but it was a dual type of thing you know um so could floyd come back i mean people would be intrigued to see if he wins or loses you know the being 50 and 0 but danny garcia is an easy fucking fight i mean if you're gonna now, we can look at it and say on paper. Now, if you're looking at this on paper, undefeated fighter, multi-division champion. How in the hell is that a cherry pick? You're right. We're looking at it on paper. When you break down the skills and just what they can do. And, dude, I was saying this two years ago when people were throwing Danny Garcia's name around. Because, you know, two years ago, everybody's name was getting thrown in there as possible opponents. He's too slow, man. Dude, too, I don't give a fuck if he was 100 and 0. Danny Garcia is too slow. He's going to show Floyd too much respect. He's going to get pot shot all night. It's going to be easy work. Easy work. It's going to look like a fucking sparring session. His left hook is going to get timed. He's, Floyd's going to see that shit coming eight miles away. He's going to have a lunch break. He's going to go on his Twitter account. He's going to go probably buy a new Bugatti, come back in the ring. Danny Garcia is still going to be fucking in the middle of throwing his left hook. Shit's not going to land on Floyd. He's not going to outbox Floyd. He doesn't have good enough. He couldn't even keep up with Lamont Peterson moving around the ring. How the hell do you think he's going to keep up with Floyd? Yes, Floyd is older, but his body is preserved and he keeps his legs in phenomenal shape. Probably the best set of legs in the in the game right now. You know, so Garcia has nothing to offer him. So on that on that aspect, I don't think Floyd is. I wouldn't say that he could shut down a pay-per-view if he's going to fight Garcia. It's going to have to be somebody where we say, oh, shit. Now, this right here, this shit here, this is a good fight right here. Now, it got to be one of those. Now, some of you motherfuckers may say, oh, man, the Danny Garcia is a great fight. I'm going to watch it. Shit, I would watch it, too. But, I mean, it's not a fight, man, where you go into it thinking like, hey, man, now this right here is some dangerous shit. Now, this right here is showing me that, you know what I mean? This isn't a... I'm not going to bring the people name up, but you guys know who I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about um, a rematch with Andre Berto. All right. I'm not talking about a third fight with McDonald. I'm talking about some real deal Holyfield shit. And y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't even have to say the names. You know who I'm talking about in the divisions are north. But if he tried to say he's in a welterweight division, he could fight Andre Berto. Or I mean, Andre Berto. What's the kid's name? What's the little boy name to think he Floyd? 
the little boy. What's the little boy name? Adrian Broner. He could fight him. He could fight any of these at 140, 147. Only way I think it is shut down to Canelo Khan is less is Pacquiao or is less unless it's guys that are north um as far as weight. And you guys know who I'm talking about. And if I bring his name up, um people ain't gonna like it. You know what I mean? But y'all know who I'm talking about. If you really want to show me some shit. But just coming back and find Danny Garcia, man, you can give us that on PBC. I I'm I'll watch it, man. You know, I'm 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 a fight fan. I'm not one of these dudes, you know, even if I catch the shit other ways than pay per view, I'm going to watch the fights. I like fights, you know what I mean? But um, no, don't come back for Danny Garcia, man. Let Danny Garcia and all this. Danny Garcia's a welterweight champion. I mean, okay, yes, he is a title holder. Yes, I'll give him that. And there's other title. He's not the only title holder, but I mean, you want a vacant title against Guerrero, who's another multi division champion. A good, you know, it was a good fight, but it's not going overboard like he's some fucking welterweight, you know, kingpin or something like. I mean, come on, man. You know, let's get real about it. But um. As far as these comments, just Floyd being Floyd, and you know, it's no guarantee he's gonna come back or anything like that. Just Floyd talking shit and swallowing spit. You know what I mean? Just him being him. Um, Floyd think he could shut down anything if the if the fucking interviewer would have asked him, "Hey, do you think uh you can shut down, you know, um fucking Tyson Fury and Vladimir or who, whoever, Deontay Wilder, whoever?" He'll say, "Of course, it's Floyd Mayweather. We expect him to say." But by looking just his last pay-per-view numbers now, he was on, you know, he was on that track of a million pay-per-views or better or damn near a million or better, you know, than to get that um, Berto fight. A lot of people were saying it was because, you know, just making up excuses. No, man, this dude is usually doing a million plus regardless, you know what I mean? So that Berto fight has to let Floyd know something, man, that we don't want to see you in fights when we know the outcome. Now, some of you are going to argue, some of you hardcore fans or Mayweather going to say he beats everybody. He'll be favored against everybody. No, not everybody. Trust me, not everybody. And if I bring his name up, you're gonna piss you. You're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna get mad at me. He's not gonna be favored against everybody. But if he wants to say at the welterweight division, then yeah, he'll probably be favored against, favored against all those guys. But um, if you really want to find some challenges, I know a guy. I know a guy. But um, as far as the comments though, it's just money may be and money may. What do you expect him to say? He's gonna finish second. <laughs> you expect him maybe to say he's gonna finish second? I expect him to, to say he's going to finish first, man. It's Floyd Mayweather. But um, I'd like to see him come back. But I don't, I don't know, man. It might not happen. But I don't want to see Danny Garcia. Unless Danny Garcia goes on a tear and, you know, knocks out the winner of Thurman and Porter. You know, some shit like that, man. But, yes, he is undefeated on paper. I know what it is on paper. But, realistically, does he really have a chance? And I know you go, does anybody have a chance? Okay, but does Danny Garcia have a chance? No. Just my opinion. YTBC, I'm out.